comrades, welcome back to Real Politics. I believe this is episode 30, and it is a momentous time for us. And it came about quite coincidentally. I was just uh, looking at some of the achievements for Real Politics today, and I discovered there it says win the grand campaign. Uh, the world is not enough from 2020. So I went back to just have a look when I, you know, select new game. And it does indeed say that the country with the highest score by the year 2100 wins the game. Something that had completely escaped me right from the very beginning. I mean, it's not really that important. We can, of course, just play for, you know, the enjoyment. And that's really what I've been doing. But we're almost at the year 2100. It's 11 years to the deadline. And that puts a real urgency on our campaign to actually win this game. So if we have a look and that just comes down to the score again, that means the USA is target number one for us in the next decade. And that actually correlates very well with some of the comments I received from our advisory council to attack the USA and at the very least change their government and obviously get some prestige and score from that or possibly taking over some of the territory and I suggested Florida to that end but I see we can't actually get Florida on its own we have to take the deep south which could be a viable option let's see what other options could we have one is to free the northern part of Mexico which is a uh, possibly a good idea. Of course, we won't get anything directly out of that, but that will be a big blow to the prestige of the United States. Of course, the thing now is we have to be very careful because if we just look at diplomacy, when did the war with the Russians happen? That was now in the last episode, and we can see that the peace with them will last until 2091. So two years, we can see that it happened in May. So if we attack the US and let's say claim the north of Mexico or liberate the north of Mexico, then it will be two years until we can attack them again. So we have to time this very carefully because they are the obvious uh, competitor for score. So as it stands now, they will win the game. And we, of course, can't let that happen. So yes, let's have a look. What else could we try and take? There's the West Coast here. I don't know. I don't see any other obvious answers. Possibly New England. We take some of the uh, outlying territory. I don't think we can get Hawaii. No, it's a non-entity in the game. Alaska could be another option. But I think that therefore means it's more urgent for us to actually take territory instead of just liberating it like uh, we did with Baghdad. But that, of course, was still good and it will count towards our military uh, limit. Let's just have a look at that. So right now we're not near the actual max capacity, which is 679. And I think the first priority must be to maximize that. So let's get, uh, let's see how many units. I don't know. It always doesn't translate to one unit is one capacity. But I think we can at least get another 30 or so infantry. So this is our preparation for the war. I think let's even get 50. This is, this is not a time to be stingy. Armor, I think we can get about 50 more as well. And the remainder can go for the aircraft. I think so. For the Navy, we have 60. We've never used it. I think that will be more than enough to secure our transports. And the 50 transports will also be more than enough because we only need one at a time. So let's just have a quick look at the US. So if we look at their military, we see they have 24. I don't know what that second number means. That could be how much more they still could get, 42. But even so, that's only a fraction of what we've got now, even before the new additions. Armor, only 14. They only have seven ships at the moment and three transports. So there is, of course, the possibility that they could try and invade us during the battle, but that will go nowhere fast. Then let's see. Of course, they're in a block. That's going to be a problem. The Israelis, I don't know if they'll be a major threat. We can just quickly have a look at all of these 
block members but that you see is another another 13 I don't know why they would have 53 more no ships or transports two tanks two aircraft so who else is in the block we've got the Solomon Islands I think we can ignore them for practical reasons Cuba no less uh, I think we can ignore them as well Panama and the Dominican Republic it's just really the US and Israel I think anyway let's have a look at Cuba just for the sake of it uh, 12, 5, 4, of course each each amount will help the US but we'll just have to see how this goes. We have our own allies now. We could always try and take over Cuba but they're only an ally of the US, not actually a part of them. I think we'll stick to the plan and take the Deep South. I mean there's a lot we can do with the Deep South and uh, yes, I guess that includes Atlanta there. Let's just have a look at our projects. We're busy with the battlefield support systems, but that will take at least a half year to complete. And advanced optics will be done in three months. I think we can do that before the actual attack, maybe? We'll see. Internal, that's not an issue. And wars, of course, we still have the warmonger level, but I can just let the clock run again. It doesn't matter now. Warmonger is of, really of no consequence, I think. The only other problem with attacking the US is that they are still our main stock exchange partner. You can see they're giving us 300 income right now. And attacking that is, it's not really something I want to lose. But our income is very strong, 7,200. So really you can see how far we've come. Pakistan is bankers, ignore that. Money we have a lot of if we need it, you know, if we run into deficit, we can always support that for a long time, I think. Do we have any other partners of the US in our stock exchange? It doesn't look like it, so the rest should still function as normal, even though I'm sure they will dislike us a bit due to the very high warmonger level then. And you can count on the fact that the US will use its nuclear arsenal against us. Of course, we have some missiles... Uh, famous scientist this happened before this time to the Netherlands I think last time was to the US the top government scientist wishes to leave our country and move to a better place uh -uh. losing him could be quite the blow to our R&D not now I think last time I paid him to convince him but then he left anyway I think forget about relations with the Netherlands that's really of no consequence 2% unhappiness is not that much but we're preparing for war now so confiscate his passport he is not going anywhere we take a hard line stance now then infantry has been trained so some of our nuclear missiles are stationed in Angola and I believe some of them are also stationed in the Republic of the Congo uh, I think we tried to get them into our block once but it didn't work but uh, so yes we will obviously if we are allowed we will retaliate if nukes are used against us but I'm hoping that our okay the optics is finally done that went really fast we uh, hopefully this Star Wars project we I think we have the advanced Star Wars project active at the moment so hopefully that will mitigate some of their nuclear attacks yes we have the advanced Star Wars system also mad uh, of course that just means our uh, chance of us attacking them successfully is increased but I still don't know if we'll be allowed to so far it just looks like the defender is the one who gets to nuke maybe once they do it we can do it as well I'm not sure we'll just have to see what else can we do right now an arms production economy GDP growth requirements I want something that's going to give us a practical advantage in battle right now what about naval now that's score we need score of course but I think we need to do what we can now to help us it's more score this one maybe infantry support tactics that gives them plus one to their attack Tactic used to increase the firepower of infantry by offering immediate tactical response to the demands of the battlefield. I think we should. It'll take a year. It'll probably be too late. We will start the war before then, I think. But maybe in the course of the war it will help us. So how far are we with our units? We need to finish this first. So 104 days or so. 
and then it's on. So I think we should start breaking down the US uh, relations now, which is unfortunate because we just improved it in the last one. Ah, nuclear spy. We've discovered a spy in our nuclear research department. We don't know who, exactly who yet, but we're close to finding out. What should we do with them when we do? Catch and hold? Or let them escape with something? Fake plans or formulas with bad numbers? That could be a good thing. Hopefully that will also lead us to the, to the, you know, their, how, what, how, how do they say it? The handler of the spy? So we can trace who they are actually from? Let's do that. Otherwise, if we just catch them, they will never talk. So, let's actually now begin decreasing relations. I'm sorry, it has to be done. We're in the final stretch now, the last of the decades here. And if we don't get a number one score, we officially don't win. Of course, that was never really the plan. But now that we are in this position, I think we must maximize it. And the South Koreans are just complaining that they don't have space colonies. But I say again, if they wanted one, they should have competed with us to get it. Right into our trap, Iran, no less. We've managed to outspy the spy. They fled with a case full of real documents. And Iran is the one. So Iran will have a less chance of successfully attacking anyone with nuclear weapons and uh, there's some sabotage as well. So I see Iran, you're still up to your old tactics. Success decreasing relations. Let's see, can we go? Yes, we can. We're ready for war. Of course the US will know it's coming now. So just over a month now. Exciting times. Armor, 50 tanks are ready to go. And what's happening in the Yugoslav war? It looks like the, is that the West now? The West Yugoslavia region seems to be winning, but only by a small margin. Doesn't really affect us. Doesn't look like our allies have any problems at the moment. None of them look like they want to leave, so that's good. Nuclear sabotage against our country. We weren't able to catch their agents. You can just guess who that was. Iran, of course. Or the US, maybe. Also possible. So how many nuclear warheads do we have now? Only 56 again. So we're back where we were last time. Before we bought the additional ones. What's this? India. Our agents have found an opportunity to cause some misunderstanding against the general staff of our enemy. So it was the Indians that did that. Looks like everyone is quaking in their boots now. They want to know if they should proceed with the operation. Do it. So India will have an attack modifier of minus one for sir, the next 10 years. Do it. Not that I see any trouble with them, but if they are our enemy, then so be it. Let's get something more, another military technology while we can. Guerrilla tactics maybe? Eh, no, that, that brings the navy down. Cyber warfare, yes, for the aircraft and for the navy, do it. We shall become experts at cyber warfare. Now of course the big risk with this whole gambit is that during our war with the US, somebody else will try to take advantage of our preoccupation. Aircraft are done, so let's pause. I don't know who, the Russians can't do anything right now, but maybe the Iranians or the Indians, who knows. So we might, at the end of the day, have to fight a war on two fronts, which I would like to very much avoid. So it's a risk, but I think we have to. We're in the final stretch. So, USA, are you ready for this? This is going to get ugly, but here we go. E a lot of them, but yes, we outnumber them completely. I don't know why they say our army power for our transports is zero. That's absolute nonsense. Relations will go down. Yes, yes, we know all of that. 797 versus 136. Of course, they'll mobilize rapidly, so we'll have to stay on top of that as well. Do it. Assign absolutely everything and begin the invasion of the US. And secure the front. Let's get a foothold in Florida somewhere. 
Oh dear, come on. We have the advantage for now. They gave up, alright, next. Frontal advance, so take the deep south, or wherever the fronts may be. So you see they only use one transport for this, so if we lose it we have 49 more. And we lost that one, you see they're fighting back. We have a small lead there, but yes, we'll see. Elections are coming up, but I can't be bothered now. We're fighting in the Midwest. Come on, come on. It's the weather, I guess. Lost again. Capture some of the roads. We should stay on top of this training thing. We just pause for a moment, and we lost that as well. Oh dear. I guess this comes down to the military technology. No, I think... Can we get any more at this point? Yes, we can. Let's get some 59 more infantry. Just so we're, we're sure we have enough. Okay, let's, let's look at this thing. So, equal chance. Equal. So, eventually we will have to make a breakthrough. I think the frontal advances may be a little too deadly at the moment. So, let's just try and take some of the airfields. Even though we have a low initial disadvantage. I don't know. Disadvantage. It's a low, low chance, but it's okay. The deadliness is very low. And if we can knock them out of the skies, that will be a decided advantage. They're just trying to ambush us. So they're not actually trying to fight back in, in South Africa. And we lost. This is going to be a long war, but it has to be done. Air supremacy. I could, of course, just tell the computer to do this if it becomes too tedious. Uh-oh, somebody got nuked, and you can guess who it is. Nuclear attack against our civil population, and it was, I guess, a success. We lost a lot of population there. Okay, well, there was an explosion last night in our nuclear arsenal. The area has been quite heavily affected. Europa? Hmm. Accidental explosion. Obviously, it wasn't accidental. I think we must re retaliate if we can. Let's have a look. Nuclear attack. I don't know how to do this still. Is it just impossible for us to do? Because I've seen wars where both sides drop them. Requirements is Defender. It's not highlighted. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like we can ever use nukes. That's a shame. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but let's just keep fighting. So, let's continue with the air supremacy. We lost it immediately. Uh, yes, this will be a tough fight, but so be it. The next infantry batch will arrive soon, in a month. We'll just keep fighting, keep trying. See, what I'm really scared of is that they're just going to try and, you know, fully mobilize their forces and by then we'll be in a real problem. Our infantry in the south are trapped. The enemy has completely encircled them. Try and break the circle and withdraw or fight to the last man. Yes, fight to the last man and send in paratroopers. Never surrender. Success! With the help of our 30, 53rd Para Regiment, the encircled troops managed to crush the enemy. Hey, we are invincible! Invincible! You know, don't say that, but uh, okay, we'll take it. Unhappiness has dropped tremendously. I doubt if that will have an impact here. It doesn't look like it. These things are not succeeding. Take their garrisons. Let's see if that works. Otherwise, we'll just have to do some kind of counter ambush but that's really a problem because we won't ever advance okay the army hold on the forces are here we have 288 so bring the new ones now we have 362 can we get more now we're exceeding our capacity already so unfortunate but we can't do anything more 
Just have to keep an eye on that. You see the capacity is increasing again. Failure again. Alright, we have to think about something else here. We're not really getting an inroads. Take the garrison supply lines. There we go. That's a, a high chance of success. So do that. Break their supply lines. Attack modifier. Yes. So because they're ambushed or ambushing, they get an advantage to their attack. High warmonger level in India. Just stop for a second. What's happening with India? War between... Okay, but now why does India have that? They're not attacking us, are they? Strange. Oh, maybe they tried to do something diplomatically and it failed. Stock market... We might have to get a new member in the stock market as well, but obviously we can't do that now. We'll just have to wait. Interesting. Let's see what happens now. Come on, you can do it. We have a high chance of success. So the losses will obviously mount quickly here. 99 infantry now. You see what they're doing. Agents from Japan were trying to spy on us. And now that we're besieged, essentially, the whole world is jumping on us because they see that we're a threat. But we seem to be doing a bit better this time. One more armor destroyed. Come on, come on, we gotta get one victory here. If we get the supply lines, we can weaken them. Lost again. Well, we'll do it again. Just keep doing it. Our agents have found an opportunity to wreak some economic havoc on the books of our enemy. This is now Panama, the US ally. They want to know if they should proceed. Of course you should. Don't even need to ask that. Eee, this this is it. This is the fight for victory now between the two rival hegemons for the world. Vietnam is bankrupt, so be it. Immediately it just decreases and decreases, slightly up again, and it goes back down again. I think we need to... Ah, they gave up, so we won that. Stop, 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 stop. I think the first thing we have to do is just have a look. We can get a few more tanks. Is that the most urgent thing? Aircraft, we completely annihilate them. They are outnumbered tremendously. Armor as well. Then infantry is increasing rapidly, so that could be a potential problem. But I think we still outnumber them more than 3 to 1, so it's not an issue. Let's wait a bit with getting more reinforcements. So let's see the next thing. Frontal advance. Let's try a frontal advance again. Just pressing our luck here. See what we can do. Peace treaty between us and Masharika have expired, but that's not really relevant. We lost that, of course. Frontal advance. Try again. Mashrik is bankrupt, so they're not going to be a threat right now. War between Mashrik and Jordan. Okay, so they're taking out their frustrations on someone else. Try the air supremacy again. And the support tactics have been implemented. Of course, we lost that one. Let's just have a look. We can get something else now to help us. So we're busy with the cyber warfare. What about commando actions? We need false target generators. So first we'll need the nanotechnology. Uh, see, it takes about a year. Let's do it anyway. So we need to assign a new operation. Try and capture the roads. The score is creeping up. We won. They gave up their operation. All right, just stop for a second. Capture the key cities. Uh, just looking for some good opportunities now. 
airstrike armor destruction maybe we should do that or clear the air uh, the skies no do the airstrike on the armor that could give us an advantage voting I'll just say accept changes can't pay too much attention to that now a lot of stock markets members have degraded And six days till we can add somebody else. So I think let's wait for that. Mutual cooperation, Brazil and Uruguay. Okay. Colombia has been closed. Okay, stop there. Let's just find somebody else. Because right now we'll need the money. Not really, but of course it will help. Of course now everyone hates us. Or pretty much hates us. Uh, Angola is a good option maybe. Japan, I'm very reticent to ask them, but it could be a worthy option since we have a bigger enemy now. The UK, let's ask the UK. 24, yes, maybe. And then take care of this all for now. There was another suggestion to attack the UK to free Scotland. That's always a good possibility for a longer term, but I think right now we just need to focus on this US thing. This will be all of our attention for a while. And we're going to lose that one. Maybe. We got nuked again, am I right? Yep, attack on the army and it was a success. So where's this Star Wars thing? We haven't seen any failed attacks. And we lost that one. Things are not really going as well as I were was hoping. Try the breakthrough. But overall I'm pleased. We have 38% score right now, so it's definitely in our advantage. Do we need to recruit anyone else? Oh yes, stop for a moment. Oh, we lost a lot of units with that nuclear attack. I think that's the highest priority. Only 15 though. Ugh. It's taking its toll. Cyber warfare, so that gives some help to our aircraft and navy. And what was after the cyber warfare? No, that was on its own. Stealth. That's only score again. I would like it to have a you know a real impact on the aircraft, but it doesn't look like it will. What's this? Combined arms. We don't have enough. Oh no. We don't have enough action points. Is there anything we can do about that? Nothing here will generate action points, I think. Mm, orbital station, that could be nice, but not now. Oh dear, well it looks like we'll just have to... Wait a minute. AP for block maintenance. That could be good because then the block maintenance will be cheaper in terms of the uh, action points and that will obviously free some more. So do that. It'll take two years but it'll give us something to at least help in that regard. Come on, break through. I think we still have the decisive advantage at this point but... If it comes to a very long-term protracted war, then I think we'll be struggling a bit. Uh, it doesn't look like we'll... Uh, it's going up again. Can we not get... Oh yes, all the other infantry is still coming. That's why I couldn't hire anyone else. It failed. Let's see. Try the breakthrough again. Hacked. Our inner defense system was hacked by unidentified attackers last night. You can bet they're working for the Pentagon. We don't exactly know where they're from. Yes, we do. But we suspect this is just a diversionary a a tactic by one of our enemies. Army morale. Oh, good grief. Gain a core plus 10. It's a lot of like, you know, failure risks. I still want to nuke them. Come on. Hey, oh well. This is the ultimate battle, so obviously it's not going to be an easy one. 
Japan has opened their own stock exchange, so I'm glad we didn't ask them. This time, oh come on, incompetent general, seriously? One of our top generals has suffered another string of losses. Yes, you have. It seems clear that he's no longer effective in frontline positions. Problem is, he's very influential and popular among the brass. Replacing him would be difficult. Attack modifier? No, we can't have a negative one attack modifier. I'll take the unhappiness. Right now, that's not a problem, so the attack modifier is a problem. And my alarm is going off, but this is too much of a suspense. I can't stop here right now. Someone conducted, we went, oh, good grief. We lose army morale anyway. Can we do it against the US? Let me just close this. Spread descent. Because we don't have any action points, we can't do anything. That's going to be a problem. Hey, yeah, yes, we're in a rock and a hard place now. And now it's going down again. Some tourist infrastructure all over the place, but and mining infrastructures, all of that's finally done. See how that little bit of disadvantage is now bringing us down. And there's war between Pakistan and India, so the whole world is falling apart now. Yep. Complete failure. Well, I think we'll continue this in the next episode. This is going to be a long and tough fight, but one that we remain committed to. Yes, so this is the fight for the supremacy of the world, essentially, and we have nine years in which to win it, and hopefully get enough score. If we don't, it's okay, but we'll give it a go, you know. So, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and do root for us. Uh, things are up in the air at the moment, and we're desperately in need of some good luck here. See you next time.